In the summer of 2022, Paul Lebeau Pogba left Manchester United as a free agent after turning down a new contract with the Red Devils and leaving for Italian champions Juventus for the second time in his career. However, the United fans did not share their club's enthusiasm for the French midfielder, with many taken to social media to express their delight at seeing Pogba pack his bags. But why do the fans hate the giant Frenchman? In this video, we explore the rollercoaster relationship between Paul Pogba and the Manchester United fans. Pogba joined the Manchester United Youth Academy at age of just 16 from French side Le Havre in 2009. Pogba was expected to follow in the footsteps of the many Manchester United legends who came through the club's academy, such as Bobby Charlton, David Beckham, Ryan Giggs and many more. The young Frenchman, impressed with his performances starting in Man United's Youth Cup winning under-23 team, playing alongside close friend and future teammate Jesse Lingard. Pogba's skills even attracted the attention of the club's legendary manager, Sir Alex Ferguson, quoting as telling another coach, You see this player? He will be extraordinary, full of talent. That was back in 2012. When was the first time you heard of the talented Frenchman? Although this would be the climax of the pair's relationship as Pogba would unexpectedly leave the club later in the year for Italian giants Juventus, Sir Alex later stated, I don't think he showed us any respect at all, to be honest. Awkward. Pogba would go on to excel at the Turin club, quickly becoming a fan favourite and helping his team win four consecutive Serie A titles, two Italian Super Cups and even finishing runners-up in the 2015 Champions League final, falling short to Barcelona. As a dynamic attacking midfielder, Pogba was known for his rocket-like long shots and his incredible long-range passing. Pogba scored screamers during his time in Turin. Which one was your favourite? Let us know in the comments below. His success in Italy earned Pogba a world record-breaking 105 million euro transfer back to Manchester to join then manager Jose Mourinho. The Frenchman picked up where he left off, helping Manchester United lift their fourth EFL Cup and first ever Europa League Championship in his first season back at the club. However, in the following seasons after his triumph, Pogba did little to impress the Red Devils fans. During the following five seasons with the Reds, Pogba would only score 30 goals and provide 47 assists in all competitions and was unable to help his team win any major trophies during that time. Paul Pogba has suffered from many injuries throughout his time at Old Trafford, which you may say is no fault of his own. However, some Manchester United fans suggest his poor fitness record has been a result of his effort in training and how he looks after his body. Also, while supposedly injured, the Frenchman appeared in social media videos, often dancing or messing around with friends, which further prompted fans to question his professionalism. Do you think it's unfair to blame Paul's injuries on this effort? Let us know below. Pogba is well known for his love of social media and for using his platform to promote his brand, labelled simply PP. Very imaginative. With the constant promotion of his clothing brand and appearance in many commercials as well as even the occasional music video, Pogba developed a reputation for being arrogant and selfish within the Manchester United fan base. Pogba's social media activity also put him in hot water with his manager Jose Mourinho on more than one occasion. Pogba's relationship with the self-proclaimed special one was soured from the very start as the Portuguese manager was left unimpressed with the way that Pogba announced his transfer to Manchester United by appearing in a social media music video with British grime rap star Stormzy. Jose reportedly felt he was promoting himself as bigger than the club. Later in 2018, the Frenchman posted a video on Instagram of himself with fellow teammates Andreas Pereira and Luke Shaw, laughing as his team were losing to Derby County FC in the Carabao Cup. The following morning, cameras caught an incident on the training field where Mourinho confronted Pogba on his social media post and the pair were seen arguing. The clip instantly went viral, enticing Man United fans to support their manager in shaming the French international. Did Mourinho overreact or maybe even underreact? Let us know what you think. Despite his many poor performances in the Manchester United shirt, Pogba would always seem to turn up for his national side. Paul was a key player in France's triumphant 2018 World Cup campaign, scoring a superb goal from outside the box in the final against Croatia. Returning to his club in the summer, Pogba's performances were very underwhelming, with many fans suggesting he didn't care and was more interested in which hairstyle he would choose next. The Frenchman's hairstyles aren't the only non-footballing cause of friction with the Man United fans. Paul's ex-agent, 
Mina Raiola is infamous within the United fan base with many comments about the club. In 2018, Manchester United legendary midfielder Paul Scholes condemned the lack of leadership in the United team and criticised Paul Pogba for not stepping up as a senior player. Raiola blasted the Man United fan favourite Scholes, claiming, Some people need to talk for fear of being forgotten. Paul Scholes wouldn't recognise a leader if he was in front of Sir Winston Churchill. He went on to attack the club, stating, Pogba's problem is Manchester United. It's a club out of touch with reality and without a sporting project. I wouldn't take anyone there. They would even ruin Diego Maradona, Pele and Paolo Maldini. Rayola famously always had rocky relationships with Manchester United managers. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, one of United's most recent managers, was seen as an enemy of the Italian super agent when Ole stated in a press conference, Paul is our player, not Minos, relating to rumours of Pogba's potential transfer. This clearly triggered a nerve in Mino as he went on to post a three-page rant on Twitter about the Norwegian manager. As agent of Zulatan Ibrahimovic and Rumelo Lukaku, as well as Pogba, ex-United manager Jose Mourinho has had a lot of experience dealing with Mino Raiola. The Portuguese manager reportedly blames Mino for the breakdown of his relationship with Pogba. In 2018, when injured and in rehabilitation in Miami, Paul was pictured in a photo shoot with his wife. Jose sent the pictures to Riola angrily asking Mina to explain why he was relaxing while the team was working hard. Riola went straight to Pogba to show him what Jose said, which greatly annoyed Paul. If there is one thing that will turn the United fan base on you, it's not getting along with the club's legendary leader, Sir Alex Ferguson, who wrote in his autobiography, there are one or two football agents I simply do not like, and Mina Raiola is one of them. The pair's relationship was destroyed when Mina convinced Pogba to leave the club in 2012. The Scotland manager was even captured in a secretly filmed session of his speech at Sale Ruby Club, calling Mino a bag. What's your opinion of the Italian super agent? Let us know. It became clear that Pogba's Manchester United career was coming to an end for a second time. In the 2021-2022 season, as rumours of the French star's unhappiness at the club gained huge media coverage. Many Manchester United fans believe that Paul was intentionally leaking this information to reporters in order to secure a move by attracting other top football clubs across Europe. The climax of the tension came to fruition in Manchester United's home match against Norwich in April this year when the Red Devils were disappointingly drawing 2-2 against the bottom of the league team. Pogba was substituted early in the second half as was subjected to loud boos from the crowd. Paul proceeded to cup his ears to the fans, antagonising them further. Pogba received a huge wave of criticism and abuse following the match from United fans on social media. So much so, his manager Ralph Rangnick had to publicly appeal to fans not to single out the French midfielder. It was a similar situation in Pogba's last match for Manchester United as United were already losing 1-0 to bitter rivals Liverpool when Pogba was dismissed after just 10 minutes due to an apparent injury. Why spread jeers from the crowd with commentators questioning whether it would be his last game in the red shirt and whether they were correct. Pogba finally got his wish at the end of the season and returned to his former club Juventus. However, this was not the end of the fan saga with the Frenchman. Shortly after departing Manchester United, Paul Pogba released his landmark Amazon Prime documentary, The Pogmentary, in which Paul claimed the Manchester United club offered him nothing to stay at Old Trafford, despite being offered over $330,000 a week, a subsequent 3.5% increase on his last salary. Doesn't sound like nothing to me. This did little to improve Pogba's selfish and arrogant reputation with the Manchester United faithful. The Pogumentary was very badly received by the Manchester United faithful, as in just a week the documentary received a dismal 1 out of 10 rating on IMDb, with 6,191 or 94.7% of fans having given it a 1 rating. Over 350 of those have left a review, criticising the French International. One user wrote, Self-obsessed sob story, the worst documentary I've ever watched. Another said, Don't watch you'll feel like poking your eyes out after and will never get the time back. Ever. Did you watch the Pogumentary? Do you think it deserves such a low rating? Let us know in the comments below. Pogba is currently out of action with a long-term injury and is yet to make an appearance for his new club. This, coupled with the fresh media attention surrounding a blackmailing scandal involving his own brother and even a witch doctor, yes, you heard it right, 
a witch doctor, suggests Manchester United fans probably don't regret seeing the back of the French international. Pogba's brother Matthias claimed Paul had sought a witch doctor's curse to be placed on French teammate Kylian Mbappe. Pogba representatives claimed, These comments come on top of threats and extortion attempts by an organised gang against Paul Pogba. The competent authorities in Italy and France were informed a month ago and there will be no further comments on the ongoing investigation. Paul Pogba has denied any involvement with a witch doctor, but French football magazine L'Equip reports that a video exists which supports Matthias' claims. Are you a Manchester United fan who is firmly anti-Pogba or maybe a rare Red Pog supporter? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more Manchester United content.